Hello, beautiful friends and book lovers. I hope that you're all doing well. If you're new here, welcome. My name is Heather, and here at Heather's Book Review, I love to read and review mainly thrillers, like what I'm doing today, but I will also just read and review just about anything uh, that I'm feeling like reading or reviewing. Today's video is a dedicated review for The Writing Retreat, which is written by Julia Bartz, and I believe this is her... De debut, eh, yes, words, novel. This is her debut novel. I just filmed a another video before this and you guys know that I, I get like tongue tied or just like stumble on my words if I like talk for more than like 15 minutes in a row, so. Okay, I've been seeing this book everywhere. If you're watching this video, you're either interested in it, want to know a little bit about it, or maybe you've read it and you want to hear my thoughts on it. Um, so let's just get started. I chose this as my February uh, book of the month thriller choice book. Um, if you're unfamiliar with book of the month, all of these books with the little squares, I'm actually, I always get like so sad when they don't put the little book of the month logo on the books because I like how great if they did this lime green, like home before dark, it could have had like a little buddy on the shelf. Anyways, I chose this for February and it just like appealed to me. Book of the Month is a book buying subscription that is $14.99, no wait, $16.99 a month. Um, and then you get to choose one hardcover book. Hardcovers typically retail anywhere from $25 to $33. So this one retails for $27. Um, but I got it for $16.99. And then you can choose up to two other books for just an additional $10. Bucks. So like this month, actually I have the box sitting here. I haven't even opened it yet, but as you can see, I did choose three because I feel like it's such a great, like cheap subscription for hardcover books. So if you're interested, I will leave my referral link in the description box below. And if you go through that link, you get your first month for just 10 bucks and then I get a free book, which is freaking sweet. I also just want to shout out Simon & Schuster Audio for hooking me up with the audio version of this book. I would say I read about 40%, like physically read, or maybe it was half and half. I was reading half of the book and then I would read some, listen to some. So I would like listen to half of it and then read it. But I did not read a whole ton in February. And this was the book that I gave most of my time to in February. And I really enjoyed the audiobook um, adaptation too. So thank you so much to Simon & Schuster for providing me with this audiobook because I loved it. It was great. Loved the narrator. Really enjoyed listening to it. I'm going to go ahead and just share the synopsis of this book if you want to hear what it's about. If you don't want to hear me read that, then just skip a little bit ahead. But it says... At one exclusive writer's retreat, it's publish and perish. Alex has all but given up on her dreams of becoming a published author when she receives a once in a lifetime opportunity. Attend an exclusive month long writing retreat at the estate of feminist horror writer Rosa Vallo. Even the knowledge that Ren, her former best friend and current rival is attending doesn't dampen her excitement. But when the attendees arrive, Rosa drops a bombshell. They must all complete an entire novel from scratch during the next month. And then, and the author of the best one will receive a life-changing seven-figure publishing deal. Determined to win this seemingly impossible contest, Alex buckles down and tries to ignore the strange happenings at the estate, including Rosa's erratic behavior, Ren's cruel mind games, and the alleged haunting of the mansion itself. But when one of the writers vanishes during a snowstorm, Alex realizes that something very sinister is afoot. With the clock running out, she must discover the truth or suffer the same fate. A claustrophobic and propulsive thriller exploring the dark side of female relationships and fame, The Writing Retreat is the unputdownable debut novel from a, com from a compelling new talent. All right, so let's just get down to the nitty gritty, shall we? I was seeing everybody like raving about this book um, on Bookstagram. And I'm like, great, it's gonna be fantastic. Like, let's 
let's go. I mean, that sounds amazing. That synopsis sounds amazing. Like a snowed in writing retreat. And I feel so bad saying this. I really like, I just, ugh. I always feel guilty when I just don't like love a book. I don't know why. Like, I mean, everyone's different. Everybody's different. Everyone has their own likes and dislikes, but I didn't like it which is such a bummer because it felt like a Ruth Ware book to me. Um, if you're new here, I have mentioned this in several videos, but like Ruth Ware books always just like fall flat for me. Like her settings are always top notch. Like she sets up her books great. They have so much potential. And then they just, it's like, doot, 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 doot. like, I just, I don't even bother reading a Ruth Ware book anymore because I'm never, ever, ever satisfied with the endings. And that's unfortunately what happened in this book. On my rating scale, I'm giving this a decent but flawed um, because I kind of like what I just said. The book starts off great. There's a lot of potential for it to just kick off. They're all at this writing retreat. You're getting like a decent but not overwhelming amount of uh, just background on our main character and one of the other characters, um, the one that was mentioned in the synopsis. So you're finding out a little bit about them and just like their history. And sorry, I'm like, my sinuses are all, I'm going to probably sound a little clogged up every now and then. But basically, I was not overwhelmed with what was going on and the amount of information. But I just feel like the book was predictable. Um, it felt very much kind of like a ripoff of another pretty big thriller um, that has became, has became, has become a TV show um, as well. I don't want to say it though, because I feel like that's going to like basically essentially spoil this book for those who haven't read it. Um, but it just kind of felt like very been there, done that. Like I could kind of tell what was happening. And then I felt like there was no massive like high point of the story. Like I, there, there is towards the end, like a big, like, whoa, what's happening? Like crazy scene, lots of action. Sorry, there's a floating dog hair. But then I was just so underwhelmed with the ending and then I truthfully thought, I was like, okay, did I miss something like major? Like, I mean, I'm, I just, I was reading all these reviews, like so many twists, so many turns, like jaw dropping, like you, oh, sorry, just kick the ring light. You're going to be like amazed. And I'm like, what do you mean twists and turns? Like there wasn't anything like even crazy, like at the end. So like I said, everyone's entitled to their own opinion. A lot of people ended up loving this. I personally would just say skip it because it feels very been there, done that. And I wasn't like sadly impressed. For those of us who have read, I am going to get into the book chat part of this video containing spoilers. So if you're new here, I will link a playlist with some other thriller reviews for you. Um, and I would love if you could hit that subscribe button before you leave so you could be here for future bookish videos. All right, guys. I just, in the beginning of the book, I had a prediction that Rosa like somehow knew what happened between Ren and Alex and they just, she brought them to the retreat to like have chaos commence. I don't think that was the case though. Like I truthfully, I don't remember that happening in the book. Um... I just was like so annoyed with Alex the entire book. I'm like, okay, she's clearly struggling with her sexuality. She's also clearly struggling with just like confidence levels. Like she just, I mean, so much of the book was like, okay, she was paranoid. Are the girls ganging up on her? Is Ren like trying to sabotage her just like over and over? And I'm like, okay, okay, okay. Like, it just felt like so redundant. And I'm like, I understand that like part of your character, but like what else? I felt like the ending was so mediocre. Like Alex survives, Ren survives, Rosa survives. Like that was just really annoying. 
to me. And I was like, okay, so we have a couple or not even a couple, like did, didn't we just have the one side character who was dead? Did like, I don't know. I just felt like I'm like, okay. And then I think like a lot of people just in the reviews I was seeing were kind of hinting at like the ending where Rosa texts Alex and is like, hey, like I'm so proud of you. And then she's still like, again, dealing with that like confidence or that like, wow, like I can't believe she complimented me. Like, but I feel weird about liking her compliment, but basically like her texting her and like validating her success. And then Alex not knowing how to feel, shocker. Okay, great. But I was like, okay, like she's alive and texted her. Like that's it? I don't know. I was just, this is what happens when like I see so many reviews just like hyping it up. Like people like one of the best thrillers I've read this year. I'm like, yes, let's go. Like, wow, it's going to be a great, great thriller. And then that's just a me thing. Like I hype myself up when I see a lot of people loving it. So I think I just have like super high expectations. I will say like, I think the writing is really good. And yeah, I mean, like I said, it had a great setting. The premise was like there, I was here for it, but the main character just drove me fucking nuts. I felt like it was like, either she was struggling with her sexuality or she was struggling with like confidence and like needing the validation and affirmation, but then like being confused by it and like back forth, back forth, back forth. And then the ending, I was just like, eh. So that's what I thought, but let me know what you felt because like so many people loved it and I wanted to be one of those people too. Um, but yeah, that's just, you know, that's just how I felt about it. So let me know in the comments below what you guys thought about the book. And as always, thanks so much for watching and I'll see you in my next video. Bye you guys.